So Don Hall back again with another how-to video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate for you how the simple uh, techniques you'll need to make a ceramic box, a textured box. You can make them uh, four-sided boxes, five-sided, uh, six-sided, even three-sided if you're uh, real creative. But uh, these are the basic skills you'll need to master. Okay, so what I did is I rolled out a slab on with my slab roller and I'm, I'm putting some texture on it right now. I'm using a, a cylinder seal. This is an invention that was about 4,000 years old. People in ancient uh, Persia used to make these to, and it's just, it's just a piece of clay. I shaped it into this donut kind of a shape, this, and I poked uh, a texture on it, bis fired it, and I use it to apply texture to a slab. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out my shape for a box. And this material I'm using, it's, it's uh, just a piece of cheap cardboard. It comes in a big roll. I bought it at my uh, home supply store. It's actually used for underlaying to protect floors. It's just a piece of plywood, a piece of cardboard. And I cut out the... Uh, my my box what i'm going to do is i let this set up a little bit and then i'm going to turn it over and i'm going to fold it up into a box and i need to make sure i have a little bit left over so that i can use that to make the top of the box and i'll show you that in just a minute okay so what i did is i flipped it all over and now I'm going to cut 45 degree angles on all the edges. I do this with a 45 degree tool. I made this. It's very simple. It's just a little uh, half inch piece of plywood with a one inch notch cut out each way, a wire stretched across. Making the bevel on the uh, corners makes it much easier and for them to stick together because the, the surface area that touches each other is larger. So I'm going to slip and score all the edges so that they get nice and tight. I'm just using some slip I made out of the uh, clay that I'm using and it works much better if it's if it's scored all the way around the places that are going to touch. So what I do is I fold two sides up so that they can meet. And just push them together. Real simple. You got to try this a little bit and, and know when it is that the uh, clay is the right amount of dryness. You want it wet enough so the corners will stick, but also dry enough so it'll hold its shape. Now, all those pieces that I took with my 45 off the edges, I collect them up and I'm going to make I'm going to reinforce the corners on the inside. So I just roll out a little snake and I use this on each corner on the inside as added support. When I first started making these, I used to always fire them raku. So I really wanted to make sure that the corners were, were nice and solid so they didn't come apart in the extreme uh, temperature fluctuations in a raku firing. So I'm going to just take a minute here. I'm going to smooth out these corners on the inside, get it nice and tight in there. 
so it makes a good seal on each one of the corners. Okay, so I've kind of cleaned up the inside a little bit where I put my reinforcement. Now I'm going to make the top of the box. I have that piece of that I saved and I'm going to mark about how big I need it. And this is going to be the top. It's going to fit hopefully right on there. I'm going to cut the 45 degree corners. I've already done that on the top of the box. So again, I'll save all these little pieces because they're still perfectly good to use. All right, so now I just want to put this part on here. I will slip everything and score it real quick here and set it in place. Where's my tool? There it is. Normally, I'd be a little bit more careful doing this scoring, but for demo purposes, this will work. You get the idea. All right, so there is a box. Just needs a little bit of cleaning up and some way to open it up. What I do, I flip it over and then I make a line, which is going to be where my lid is going to fit. All right, so what I want to do now is cut off the lid. And the way I do this, so it doesn't slide around, I want to cut it off at an angle. I start almost next to the corner and go straight across. You don't want to do a sawing motion, just stick it in and pull it. Once I go all the way around, I'll come back and try to get the corners a little bit better. Notice I cut towards each corner. I put my fennel knife in and I cut towards them. Was that four? Did I get them all? There. There's the top. And it'll fit nicely back in there. I'll use my little bit of excess things I made here and fix inside of here, clean it up neatly, and I have a box. If you would like, you can put feet on it or you can attach a handle to it. But basically, those are all the skills you need to make a box. Have fun with it. That'll do it. Hope you have fun making boxes.